In this video, you'll learn how to set up and use Secured Applications, also known as SSO, with 2FA1. I'm going to use two demo applications, one called CJI and the other one PHI, to show you how to configure 2FA1 to do SSO. Both of these applications require the user to enter a username, a password, and a unit ID. Normally, they would have to open up each individual application and enter that information. What we're going to do now with 2FA1 is we're going to configure the applications to do SSO. So I open up 2FA1 and I click on Secured Applications. Due to the security of the application, I'm going to be required to authenticate to 2FA1. First, I open up the application. I'm going to click Add in 2FA1, and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it CJI Logon. There's different template types. In this case, I'm doing a log on template, but I could also configure this for log off. That means that when I tap a card or swipe a finger, it would log off the application. I could close the window. I could enforce authentication for an unprotected application. This is good for applications that have no concept of username, a password, or general security. Or I could do it for a change password for applications that have in the flow change password processes. In this case, I'm just going to do log on. And I can do different types of policies. I could have it be that as soon as I open up the application, the single sign on event occurs. Or I can do something unique to 2FA1 in which 2FA1 loops back to see how the user logged on prior to doing SSO. So I could say that the user must have logged on with advanced authentication or two-factor authentication or two-factor authentication and emergency access. Or I could say specifically that a user must have logged on with a card or fingerprint or that they must have logged on with a card or fingerprint and entered their PIN. In this case, for simplicity purposes, I'm just going to go ahead and click No Policy. The first thing that we need to do when configuring a secured application template is to recognize the application itself. In this case, it's CGI Search is in the Windows title and the application exe is main application.exe. In this case, uh, everything was recognized in the event that it wasn't or there are uh, unique challenges for the application being identified, you can click on advanced. Next, I'm going to configure the individual fields that are configured. So in this case, I have a username, I'm going to drag and drop. I have a password, again, drag and drop, and you'll see that the fields are identified. Now, with some development languages, the fields aren't identified, but in the majority of cases, they are being identified. There just isn't that green box around the individual field. So I've identified all the, the fields that 2FA1 is going to need to provide data to. Next, I can look at uh, configuring the submit action. I could easily hit the Enter key, or if there's a specific button that needs to get pushed, or clicked, I can go ahead and identify that. And I've configured the main part of the template. Next, I have to identify the credentials. And in this case, this is an application that does not use Windows credentials. If it were an application that did use Windows credentials, I can configure that to just go ahead and pass the Windows credentials that 2FA1 already knows to the application. And in some cases, some applications expect the Windows credentials in different formats. And we have the capability to provide that information to the requesting application. But in this case, this application is expecting uh, unique credentials that are known only to the application and not to Windows. So if this were my application and I knew the username, password, and the unit ID in this case, I could go ahead and enter it here. But for the purposes of this presentation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this information blank. 
Because what 2FA1 can do is an administrator can configure the template, leave the credential information blank, and then synchronize the template up to 2FA1 server, and then provision that template out to users. They can do this without having to have 2FA1 know the individual application credentials. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save here. And you'll notice that the CGI logon is now red. That means that 2FA1 does not know the credentials. Now, if this were connected to server, there would be a little synchronize button here that I could click. And this template would now be capable to be provisioned out into the template catalog. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and close 2FA1. And you'll notice that since the application's open, it's requesting the credentials. So I'm going to go ahead and put the credentials. And you'll see that 2FA1 filled in the field information, and I'm now logged into this application. 2FA1 does build in a 10-second delay for, uh, to prevent the user's information being incorrectly provided to an application, where an application locks a user out, say they enter the incorrect username and password three times. So you can open up the application again after a 10-second delay, Rather than requesting my username and password, you'll see that 2FA1 did autofill that information in in the users uh, being able to gain access to the application. I'm going to now do the same thing with PHI logon. I'm going to go ahead and open up 2FA1. I'm going to authenticate to secured applications. I'm going to add an application. We'll leave all this information the same. Configure it as I did before. The main difference is that I'm going to put the information in here. For the application. And you'll notice rather than requesting the specific credentials, it's going to go ahead and be black rather than red and it'll automatically log the user onto the application. So this is two ways to configure SSO with 2FA1. And again, both of these templates could be synchronized up to 2FA1 server and provisioned out to users. Each individual user does not need to configure these templates. And the users, as they open up the applications, will have seamless sign-on into the applications and no longer have to enter or manage usernames and passwords.